Hello friends, welcome to the session on Python programming. In this session, we'll be discussing about certain basic things about Python programming language. In this session, we will see what are the different keywords that are available in the Python programming language. Also, we will see how to write identifiers and variables in the Python programming language. We will see suitable examples of writing the variable names in the Python programs. Friends, as you know that you are viewing this session on my YouTube channel and you can subscribe to the channel so that you can watch many other videos on the various topics of the subjects of electronics and computer science. So let us start the session with the question what we mean by keywords in the Python programming language. As we know that whenever we consider any high level programming language, then almost all high level programming languages has a certain set of words. And those words are called as the keywords. Their meaning is predefined. So the developer of the language will reserve certain words and their meaning is predefined to the compiler or interpreter. In Python also, we have certain specific words of which the meaning is predefined to the Python interpreter. And we can make the use of these keywords in our program only for the purpose for which they have been defined. So Python is a case sensitive language and therefore whenever we want to make the use of the keywords, then we need to use it exactly as given in this table. So you will find that there are certain keywords available in the Python programming language such as false, class, finally, is, return, none, continue, for, lambda, try, to, def, definition, from, non-local, while, and, del, global, not, with, us, else if, if, or, yield, assert, else, import, pass, break, accept, in, and raise. So these are the keywords for which one can easily find that for true t is capital, for false f is capital, for none n is capital. So you need to use these keywords as it is. For certain words, there are small letters such as class C L A W S. So you need to use only small letters. So whenever we learn any programming language, then actually what we are learning is that we are learning the specific meaning that is being associated with these keywords. So at the different positions in learning of the programming language, we will understand what is the syntax of writing these keywords, where they are used, and what is the semantics that is being associated with these keywords. So one has to remember that these are the Python keywords and they need to be used for their specific meaning as they are predefined to the Python interpreter. So these keywords cannot be used as a variable names within our program. There is a concept of identifier in Python. Identifier, you can say that are the names that are used to identify a variable function or several other entities that are being used within the Python program. So whenever we want to name a variable or whenever we want to name a function, then we need to make use of the identifier. There are certain rules in order to write the identifier in the Python program. So whenever you write any identifier, then the name should begin with an uppercase or lowercase alphabet, or it may begin with the underscore sign. So it may consist of the combination of characters from small a to z, capital A to z, the numbers from zero to nine and underscore. So only these characters are allowed and rest of the characters are not allowed. Thus an identifier cannot start with a digit. So the first character must be a letter. Then it can be of any length. So there is no restriction on the number of characters in the identifier name, but it is always preferable that you can keep it short 
and also while making the use of the identifiers within your program, you have to see that they are meaningful so that the readability of the program will get enhanced. So it should not be a keyword or a reserved word. So as we have seen, there are certain keywords. Those keywords cannot be used as an identifier in the Python program. Also, we cannot make the use of various spatial symbols that are otherwise available on the keyboard, such as explanation mark, at the rate symbol, hash sign, dollar sign, percentage. So all these are not allowed. So you can write something of this form, say average is equal to M1 plus M2 plus M3. So M1, M2, M3, these are the names that are denoting the marks. Average is the average of the marks. So in that way, you can make the use of identifiers for giving names to the variables or for giving names to the functions or other entities in the Python program. It is also possible that uh, we can make the use of commands while writing any high level language program. In Python also, you can make the use of the commands. So comments are just nothing but remarks or a note and comments are useful only to the reader of the program and comments are not executed by the interpreter or compiler. So they are added for the purpose that we should read the code in an easy way so that we can understand for what is the purpose of writing the comments. But you will find that whenever you write any comment in the Python program, then always it has to start with a hash sign. So whenever you write hash sign at the beginning of the line, then that line will be treated as a comment line. And if you want to continue with the comment, then again in the next line, again you have to write down the hash sign. So whenever you write hash, then the interpreter will simply ignore the line and will execute the next statement. So for example, if you write something of this form, variable amount is the total spending on the gifts. So this gift come into the second line and therefore again in the second line, you have to start with the hash symbol. So whenever you write anything with the hash, then that is being treated as a command and that is useful only for the reader of the program and interpreter will not execute it. It will simply ignore the comment. But comment facility is very good because it helps us to understand the purpose of the program or the purpose of the identifier or the purpose of the particular statement. A variable in a program you can say is uniquely identified by name. So variable in a Python is actually referring to an object where you can say that an object is just nothing but an atom or it can be an element that is stored in certain memory location. So value of the variable can be anything. Say for example, there are certain default values or there are certain data types available with the Python programming language and the value of the variable can be any one of them. Say for example, it can be a string where the string can be enclosed in a single apostrophe or a double apostrophe. It can be a numeric value or even it can be any combination of alphanumeric characters. In Python, we can use the assignment statement whenever we want to create the new variables and we can assign them a specific value. So you will find that in Python, it is not necessary to declare the variable. In many other high level programming languages such as C, C++, one can easily find that variable declaration is mandatory. But in Python, variable declaration is implicit and variables are automatically declared and defined when they get assigned a value for the first time. So variables must always be assigned with a value before they are actually used in any expression. So if you use any variable in the expression without assigning a value, then that may lead to the error message. So whenever a variable name occurs in the expression, the interpreter will replace the variable name with the value of that particular variable. So variables are frequently needed by the programmer because whenever we write any kind of program, then frequently we need to write different variables within our program. 
say for example if we write a small program where we are making the use of the two variables such as length and breadth so length is assigned with a value 10 breadth is assigned with a value 20 and then we will make the use of another variable area where it is being assigned with a value length into breadth so we are actually taking the product of length and breadth so whenever you execute such type of the small program then you will find that you will print or you will get the output for the value area print area will show the value of the area is equal to 200. so it is possible that you can print the value of the variable and whenever you want to print the value of the variable then it can be displayed on the screen by using the print function so say for example if i am having a variable message where the message is keep smiling and if i print the message then the keep smiling will be printed on the screen if i am having a variable number 101 and if i print the message user number is and then the message will be printed on the screen user number is 101 so thank you friends for viewing the session hopefully you have understood these basic things which are required when we go for learning of the python program in this session we understood what we mean by keywords what are the comments then what is the identifier and how to write variable within a python program thank you all for viewing the session